Senator Cassidy. I defer to Senator Mark Wayne Mullen. Thank you, uh, Senator, and um, thank you for our panelists for being here. I, I'm going to address a question real quick about why is it so expensive. Fourteen years ago, my wife and I uh, wanted to provide health care for, for our employees. It was actually going to be a benefit because we were having a lot of employees miss work because they couldn't find child health care. So we went through the process of trying to set it up, and it was crazy how expensive it was. Then outside of that, the liability that it brought to our company honestly outweighed the benefit of it. Because of how much regulations that we pour on these, on these early child development centers, preschool, it makes it almost cost prohibitive. And so if we really want to fix cost, we should start looking at ourselves and seeing out a way that we can soften the amount of regulations and still keep our kids safe. Now, let me get to the... To, to the point of my, my questions and kind of make a point here. When we're trying to federalize our education system, to me it sounds like we're trying to move more towards socialism. Because when you federalize an education system, you're standardizing what you're gonna be teaching our kids and taking the parents out of the ability to have a say in it. And, and so I have, very, I have a lot of concerns about this, and it still baffles me that the chairman of our committee, Health Education, I'm going to put, right, put that big, Health Education, Labor, and Pension Committee, is a, that was appointed by our Senate Democrats, is a self-proclaimed socialist. I, I'm not just calling that. Chairman, you, you openly say that you're a socialist. In your book, Outsider uh, in the House, the chairman says, Bill Clinton is a moderate Democrat. I'm a Democrat socialist. That's over our education system. I have a book here in, here in front of me called Our Skin that has been endorsed by NACI. Uh, and I'm going to read exactly what this book says. You guys might find it interesting. A long time ago, way before you were born, a group of white people made up an idea called race. They sorted people by skin color and said that white people were better, smarter, prettier, and they deserve more than everybody else. This would be taught if we socialize our pre-K system. This would be taught. Do you disagree with that findings in the book? A thousand percent. How really? about we teach Jesus loves me? How about, how about this? In teaching Jesus loves, loves the little children, the lyrics go red and yellow, black and white. They're all precious in our sight. Now, which one would you think would be better? I'll ask everybody on the panel. Which is better to teach? This that is a, a story that was made up to teach our kids. Three-year-olds who have no idea what race is, now all of a sudden is being taught that white people said this as a truth. Someone pointed me that this being a truth, that white people developed race, that white people developed that, that all of a sudden that was our word that we developed. By the way, I'm Cherokee, Native American, I think we have experienced a little bit of racism before in my life, Chairman. Senator Mullen. So, so I ask everybody on the panel, which one is better to teach? This or the Jesus Loves Me lyrics? Ma'am, I'll start down here. Just yeah, tell me which yeah. one. I don't have time for an explanation. What I'll tell you, Senator Mullen, is that what children um, in these early years no, no, develop no, no. their identity. I didn't question. The, it's the important, question is, is which it's important one do you that think our is classrooms are. I'm just asking which one is better. Let her answer the question, please. I, the, my question is this. She will which answer it. She sees fit. Which one is better? It's important, this? It's important that children's identity that's and not language and my culture are recognized. That's not answering my question. And that's, that's what creates strong that, executive okay, function. If, if you don't want to answer my question, that's fine. Let's move on down the panel. Which one is better to be taught? This book or the Jesus Loves Me lyrics that says everybody's, that everybody's skin doesn't matter. They're all precious in his sight. I think it's important to teach that all children are seen and valued for who they are. And that's so, what But when you teach this, don't you think that other people are start saying that white kids are to blame? No. I think it's important. It's exactly what they're going to teach. It's exactly what it is, ma'am. I disagree. Um, first, it is important that we teach Jesus. And Absolutely. Jesus is what we teach. So which one is but better? But the reality this, is. So do you think this is Could the Could you answer the question, please? No, I don't want reality. I'm asking the question, which one is better? That is exactly, <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Got okay. it on tape. <laughs> misspoke. So uh, what I'm saying is, is which one is which? Which one is better to be taught, Mr. Chairman? Is it this 
Or is it, or is it that Jesus... Is your question directed to me or Ms. Bowman? Well, you keep interrupting me saying they're not asking the question. Want to ask and I the wish question? you'd really sat on no, the no, question. No, no, no. It's his question. Time. He gets to dictate it. Which not one? Not dictate it. Ask the question. Which one? Talking to Ms. Mormon, right? Yes. As I stated, Jesus is always first. Absolutely. I agree with that. So let me end with this because I still have more time because the chairman kept interrupting me. I'm going to close with two quotes. Okay. The first is from John Adams. It says, morality and virtue are the foundation of a republic and necessary for society to be free. The second one is from our socialist communist, Joseph Stalin. That says, education is a weapon whose effect depends on who hands it is in and whom it is aimed. We got to be careful what we're trying to do here. With that, I yield back. Senator Baldwin.